Astronomers have recently detected what seems to be a secondary object moving in tandem with 3i slash Atlas, suggesting the interstellar traveler may have broken apart near Mars. Data from the Minor Planet Center in July 2025 indicated a fragment emerging just 1.4 astronomical units from a red planet, an occurrence so rare it has only been documented before with comets such as Shoemaker-Levy 9, which fragmented before colliding with Jupiter. NASA scientists are now assessing whether this split could alter Atlas's course or threaten missions bound for Mars. The question remains, what triggered this spontaneous breakup? And is the second object merely a natural fragment or something entirely new? Late on the night of July 25th, flag data points began to appear on the Minor Planet Center's monitoring system, the Zwicky Transient Facility, performing automated sky scans from Palomar Observatory, passed over 3i slash Atlas's coordinates and detected an unusual faint smudge a few arc seconds off the expected path. Within minutes, MPC analysts were cross-verifying astrometric readings, comparing timestamps, and debating whether the anomaly was a data error or the first genuine evidence of fragmentation. Internal communication channels lit up with alerts, possible fragment, confirm ASAP, and rerunning pipeline needs second verification. Confirmation wasn't isolated to one observatory. By sunrise, both Chile's very large telescope and NASA's scout tracking system had noticed the same anomaly. The new object wasn't an imaging glitch. It followed nearly the same hyperbolic trajectory as Atlas, trailing by less than a tenth of a degree. Between July 28th and July 30th, MPC's central database filled with urgent entries as teams worldwide raced to determine the coordinates. The offset, though minute, remained constant across consecutive images. With 3i slash Atlas position 1.4 astronomical units from Mars and the opportunity for high-resolution imaging narrowing, observatories worldwide pivoted rapidly. Telescope directors debated rescheduling their existing targets to capture a potentially historic interstellar event. Hesitation gave way to urgency. Missing this observation could mean losing an unprecedented scientific opportunity. Within 72 hours, both terrestrial and orbital instruments were focused on that single region of space, eager to document the phenomenon before the fragment moved out of range. For those involved, the MPC analysts, ZTF operators, and Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter teams, the discovery represented far more than a shift change. Internal logs described sleepless efforts, last-minute reconfigurations, and a strong sense of duty to record what was unfolding. Combined data revealed a second object tracing nearly the same trajectory as Atlas, its faint signature proving it was real. The teams recognized they were observing an exceptionally rare event, not since Shoemaker-Levy 9 had a cometary breakup been captured so clearly. Yet this time, the disintegration involved an interstellar visitor near Mars. While comet fragmentation is a known phenomenon, the conditions near Mars make this event highly unusual. Breakups typically occur close to the sun, driven by intense solar radiation, tidal strain, or internal gas buildup that causes a nucleus to rupture. But 3i slash Atlas's position, 1.4 astronomical units from Mars, means it lies far from such harsh thermal environments. Moreover, as an interstellar object, only the third of its kind ever observed, its behavior defies precedence. Shoemaker-Levy 9's breakup in 1992 resulted from Jupiter's immense gravity, pulling the comet into 21 fragments before they collided spectacularly with the planet's atmosphere. Atlas's case is different. It is traveling on a hyperbolic orbit at roughly 60 kilometers per second, with Mars's relatively weak gravity offering little explanation for the split. The unexpected fragmentation has drawn the attention of mission planners tracking Martian orbiters. Even a small fragment traveling at such extreme velocities could endanger spacecraft or, if its trajectory shifts, brush against Mars's thin atmosphere, with Mars roughly 1.4 astronomical units away from Atlas's current position. The margin for safety is slim, prompting constant scrutiny of every new observation for any sign of additional fragmentation or course variation. For scientists and engineers, this event is both a landmark opportunity and a logistical challenge. A breakup of an interstellar body so close to a planetary orbit provides a rare glimpse into alien materials and structural processes previously unobserved. 
as Mars missions now factor in potential debris threats. The parallels with Shoemaker-Levy 9 serve as a striking reminder of cosmic vulnerability, only this time. The lesson comes from beyond our solar system, playing out near the Martian frontier. Incoming data from the Global Telescope Network soon confirmed the findings. Between July 29th and August 1st, astrometric readings precisely documented the positions of Atlas's main nucleus and the suspected fragment. Analysts mapped both against the predicted hyperbolic motion, searching for signs of non-gravitational forces such as outgassing. Over 100 recorded observations showed the two maintaining nearly identical courses. Though the fragment lagged ever so slightly in speed, a detail that invited deeper investigation. Spectroscopic teams at Gemini South and the Southern African Large Telescope turned their focus to Atlas's coma, scanning for gas emissions and dust profiles. Spectra obtained around July 5th displayed a wide absorption near 2 microns, hinting at water ice. Yet lacking the strong carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide markers previously associated with Atlas, the inconsistency stood out, suggesting a shift in composition or activity. Production rates appeared elevated but steady, with no abrupt spikes that would normally accompany fragmentation outbursts. Instead, the data revealed a dust-dominated coma with a relatively low gas-to-dust ratio, resembling those found in Jupiter family comets rather than the volatile-rich interstellar objects previously observed. The rotation state became another major focus of investigation. Over 72-hour observation period, light curve data from the Nordic Optical Telescope tracked subtle fluctuations in the coma's brightness and color but revealed no signs of rapid spin-up or erratic tumbling. The nucleus appeared diffuse yet stable, showing no hints of fast rotation or chaotic motion. This steadiness puzzled some dynamicists who anticipated that a breakup would leave visible evidence of angular momentum transfer or irregular brightness variations. Instead, the photometric data displayed only a gradual brightening and a slight expansion of the coma's diameter, both consistent with normal cometary changes resulting from increased solar heating. Trajectory residuals reported by the Minor Planet Center stayed closely aligned with the predicted path, showing no abrupt jumps or unexplained distortions. If fragmentation had taken place, it left behind no clear astrometric proof, at least not in the data published so far. The anomaly, then, was not one of dramatic deviation but one of nuance, a faint and persistent companion. Stable dust and gas activity, and a trajectory almost perfectly adhering to expectations. For scientists, this combination was both reassuring and perplexing. The signals were genuine, but they fit none of the typical fragmentation blueprints. The next step required tackling a range of theories, each offering a different interpretation of what the instruments had captured. By August, debate intensified and spilled beyond observatory records into international conference discussions. The annual planetary science meeting in Vienna, scheduled just after the discovery of the second object, became a focal point for competing ideas. Avi Loeb and his Harvard team arrived with new preprint analyses proposing that the slight velocity delay between Atlas and its companion could suggest non-gravitational acceleration, something beyond the familiar effects of outgassing. Their presentation invoked the unresolved puzzle of Umuamua's unusual motion and proposed that propulsion-like surges possibly due to deeply buried venting, could be responsible. Loeb's team urged the community to pursue more advanced modeling and warned against dismissing the effect as mere observational noise. In contrast, a group of veteran comet dynamicists countered strongly, drawing from decades of experience tracking solar system fragments. They emphasized that Atlas's coma, though dusty and expanding, showed no signs of the violent jets or fast rotational changes characteristic of major disintegrations. They cited the stable light curves, the absence of sharp photometric dips, and the lack of chaotic motion as evidence that no catastrophic activity had occurred. To them, the secondary object might instead be a slowly ejected cluster, caused by uneven outgassing or gentle thermal stresses separating a loosely bound piece of material. They deemed claims of exotic acceleration premature, pointing to the astrometric data's tight adherence to predicted paths. Chemical analysis further fueled the disagreements. 
Spectroscopic readings revealed an unusually high carbon dioxide concentration contrasted with weak water signatures, an anomaly that some deem curious, but still within accepted variations. One theory suggested that Atlas, after spending countless years in interstellar cold, might contain layers of volatile ices that react unpredictably when they warm in sunlight. Others argued that calibration inconsistencies in the July data could have distorted these spectral readings. During a closed-door session, a senior researcher urged caution, warning that publicity was racing ahead of rigorous peer analysis, and urged patience until results from the James Webb Space Telescope and Mars-based instruments were fully vetted. Meanwhile, informal, Conversations among attendees repeatedly returned to the same conclusion. No one was entirely sure whether Atlas had truly fragmented or was simply behaving in ways atypical for known comets. By the close of the conference, scientific opinion had clearly split into differing factions, each convinced but none fully able to explain a phenomenon that continued to resist simple categorization. Some experts urged immediate telescope observations to monitor any evolving changes, while others advocated for slower more methodical strategy. This debate opened the door for a detailed comparison of the competing theories as new data from Mars missions and deep space observatories continued to arrive. Interstellar visitors have entered our solar system only a few times, at least from what existing telescopic records show. When Lumuamua was first spotted in 2017, it sped through the inner solar system without forming a visible coma or tail, and without showing any signs of fragmentation. Its light curve suggested a highly elongated shape. Yet observations from major facilities, including Hubble, Spitzer, and Pan stars, all indicated a single intact trajectory. The central mystery revolved around its acceleration, which did not align with conventional cometary outgassing models. Some teams, such as those at Harvard, proposed that concealed ices or hydrogen jets could explain the anomalous boost in velocity. Others pointed to observational uncertainty, claiming faint gas emissions might have simply escaped detection. Ultimately, Oumuamua remained whole as it exited the solar system, leaving its true nature unresolved and still a matter of scientific debate. The next confirmed interstellar traveler, 2I Borisov, appeared in 2019 and exhibited behavior far more consistent with typical comets. As it approached the sun, Borisov developed a luminous coma and a long, dust-laden tail. Over several months of observation, astronomers tracked its progression with Hubble, the very large telescope, and many ground-based instruments. Spectroscopic analysis revealed high concentrations of carbon monoxide and even traces of nickel, features uncommon among solar system comets. Despite these chemical anomalies, Borisov's nucleus stayed intact from entry to departure no secondary body emerged, no visible fragmentation occurred, and its hyperbolic motion remained steady. The comet eventually faded after perihelion, leaving behind a dust trail and a consistent series of light curve measurements. Together, these two interstellar examples established expectations for objects entering from beyond the solar system. Both showed peculiarities, Umiwamiwa's unexplained acceleration and Borisov's unusual chemical composition, but neither produced fragments or companion objects. Among astronomers, the prevailing understanding is that fragmentation is exceedingly uncommon and generally results from extreme forces, such as tidal stress induced by large planets or intense solar heating near the sun. For most comets, even those that originate beyond our system, Traveling through the inner regions rarely leads to disintegration. Their chemistry may present surprises, yet their structural integrity tends to survive the journey. This historical context shapes current deliberations surrounding Atlas's behavior. While oddities naturally generate widespread attention, experience reminds researchers that most interstellar objects pass relatively quietly, keeping their mysteries intact. NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office and the European Space Agency's monitoring divisions are observing 3i slash Atlas with heightened concern that extends beyond pure scientific curiosity. The possible appearance of a fragment near Mars forces mission planners to assess the implications, however minor, of potential debris moving at interstellar speeds. Internal NASA documents circulated in August detail the scale of the challenge ahead, balancing research priorities 
safety precautions, and mission integrity as the global effort to track free i slash atlas intensifies. If a fragment from the split were to alter its course by even a fraction of a degree, it could potentially intersect the path of an orbiting probe or, in a less likely but still concerning case, skim Mars's upper atmosphere. The threat is not purely hypothetical. Mars is currently host to an expanding network of orbiters and landers, each relying on precisely calculated trajectory predictions to avoid collisions. The updated 2025 Planetary Defense Guidelines, scheduled for implementation later this year, now emphasize rapid response simulations to handle unexpected celestial objects. These new procedures demand near real-time data exchange between space agencies, with the Atlas incident already becoming a practical test of the system. Teams at the European Space Agency, for instance, have modified their Mars observation schedules, adjusting instrument timetables and sensor apertures to improve the odds of documenting potential fragment traces. At NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, specialists have run new impact probability models, incorporating lessons learned from the Shoemaker-Levy 9 event but recalibrated for interstellar velocities and Martian gravitational conditions. The implications extend far beyond just one mission. A collision between a 3 i slash atlas fragment and Mars, even something as diffuse as a dust plume, could inject a temporary haze of fine particles into the planet's thin atmosphere, potentially disrupting observational clarity for months. Engineers designing upcoming Mars landings are now accounting for the prospect of unpredictable debris zones. For experts in planetary defense, the situation serves as both a warning and an opportunity a reminder that objects entering from other star systems present not only intellectual intrigue, but tangible risks to humanity's off-world ambitions. Coordination efforts have become truly international. NASA, ESA, and allied agencies are pushing to modernize their data networks, reducing the delay between detection and actionable response. Memorandums distributed in September advocate for broad access to raw astrometric and spectroscopic readings during high-interest events marking a shift from the old model that prioritized peer review before release. The goal of this open data framework is to prevent any single research group or nation from retaining exclusive control over critical information that could impact the safety of billions of dollars in spacecraft or, in the coming years, human explorers themselves. As scientists continue to debate the nature of Atlas's potential fragmentation, the larger significance is becoming increasingly apparent. Each interstellar arrival challenges not only our physical understanding of these wandering bodies, but also the infrastructure built to safeguard interplanetary missions. On July 1, 2025, astronomers recorded the emergence of a second object trailing 3i slash Atlas near Mars, the first suspected interstellar breakup ever observed at such a distance from the Sun. Unlike Shoemaker-Levy 9, which disintegrated before striking Jupiter in 1994, Neither of the two prior interstellar visitors, 1i slash Oumuamua and 2i slash Borisov, showed definitive evidence of fragmenting. Current observations of Atlas include surprising spikes in carbon dioxide levels and measurable rotation changes logged by the Minor Planet Center and Gemini spectroscopic surveys. Though the trigger behind these anomalies remains under intense scrutiny, some researchers attribute the behavior to natural cometary separation while others note irregularities that defy typical physical models. Despite continued study, there is still no unified conclusion about whether this fragmentation poses any threat to Mars operations or planetary defense efforts on Earth. What remains certain is that each new object from beyond our solar system brings fresh mysteries and motivates improvements in the global systems built to track them. As the scientific community awaits validation through peer-reviewed results, the unfolding story of 3 i slash atlas is a powerful reminder that deep space holds vast unpredictability and that only continuous observation can reveal the truths traveling silently between the stars.